straight to the action for this episode. And again, the blinds are 1 million, 2 million. It's about 1,000, 2,000 USD, a little bit less. We've translated the pot for you in the bottom middle. So you don't have to worry about any calculations. And Robo, he bought in for about a million dollars USD. Everyone else is in for about 450,000 USD. We got a raise and a call. It's a first hand underway, ace nine six. Robo got top and bottom pair. It is first to act gonna try to get some value out of some worse aces. Look at this. Rob Young actually calls. Turn card is the king. Robo gonna continue to fire. Thinks his opponent has an ace. Pot size bet. Because I think about it for a second, like what do I want to, how do I want to play this gut shot? And I just like, ooh, nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's high. I'm uh, at the end of 40, but I would like to grab him shit to check Rob Young does that. beat flush draws. <laughs> or hands like Queen Jack, Jack 10. So he's thinking about yeah. calling again. He's got the position. Problem is he's if he's behind, he's very behind. Robo like does get called by Rob Young. River card is the nine. It's a bad card for Robo because he's been counterfeited. So Robo is going to check Rob Young with the pair of kings. Probably wants to check here because he does beat a lot of draws. Robo is going to win the first pot of this episode. About 50,000 US dollars. Yeah, I told you I always have an ace. Okay. Is this okay? Just go ahead. I'm not smiling. I like the ones that chip when they went in and probably losing, right? Yeah. See, sleeps like a baby. That would be me, but you haven't ever seen me chirping yet. That would be me, but you've never seen me chirping. I like to see it. He sleeps like a baby. He goes home when he loses. He cries for an hour. and Gets up and that's true. That's true. It's cute. It's the it's viewers cute. get to see me through all range of emotion, you know? It's like, a, it's, like it's cute. It's like a sign of vulnerability. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so Romay's got pocket queens, gonna open under gun. Rob Young's got pocket deuces, gonna try set mine in position. JRB's got pocket nines, he's gonna make the call. Four way, two to flop, 24,000. Wow. That is set over oh, set, and Romay's yeah, got an over pair. Romay is the one betting. Lost, I think five. Trying to charge some draws. Rob Young's got bottom set. He's going to slow play it. The JRB slow plays as well. This could have been a huge pawn. Let me just flop. See the turn card. Turn card's a three. It's still no, blank. <laughs> Romay's got the over pair. When he sees two people just call him, he's got to think he's got the best hand. Usually he's up against like 10 jack, queen, queen jack, you know, king jack, these types of hands. So he bets 55 million. I was supposed to leave, but I might stay. Rob Yon's got bottom set. And the way he's played the hand, he's going to think he's got the best of it. Trying to decide if he should raise or just call here. Come on. 
he is going to shove. JRB's got middle set. Going to go nowhere. Only loses to pocket tens. He's going to make oh. the call. Oh, we got a pot Bro, pocket queens. So much okay. money in front of him. He's going <laughs> to lay it down. <laughs> Rob Young's got one out. If I Robo hadn't taken all my money, I could have won a big pot for business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wow. Hey, Over so half lucky. a million dollars. I feel lucky. I feel lucky, you know? You're so lucky. <laughs> you got to run into me when I'm short stack, Rob. Oh. Unbelievable. Man, you run so good. Thank you. I feel lucky. It's a cruel world. No, yeah. You haven't been here all week. Rob, Rob and I have this needling contest like every single wow. time. And by the way, he's had the best of me. He's winning a lot, and I'm losing a shit ton this week. And he's right there in my ear every time he busts me. You're a very gracious mm -hmm. winner, Robin. You had a set. You had a set. You're, You're a very a gracious. Set. You're a You're gracious a winner. Man, I mean, don't you feel like blessed that you that I was short stacked? Rob will kill me all my money. Don't you feel blessed I was short stacked on that, Rob? Now we have some four teachers. <laughs> right by by the way, need a cube. By the way, right now, I'm gonna put away diaper money. Okay. Oh no, no college money. College money, right here. Right here. Then you know I was talking about it again. Oh no, but I gotta double that up because you need to go back to staking situation. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're allowed to go south of college money. Everyone normally it's not allowed, but you know, if it's a future of the kids, I think it's okay. Are we playing maintain five million or not? I just texted my boss. Can I can I swear to God. I just texted my boss. Can I can I get another three million? Because I don't like being short stacked right before that hand. That was the only way you were gonna get another three million. By the way. <laughs> Classy guy. <laughs> First time I met this guy. Who is he? He's a beauty. JRB wins the biggest pot so far <clears throat> of this cash game. And he's going to go out three betting, king nine suited. So Dwan opens, JRB three bets. Lang Yu's got a six suited in the small blind. He knows JRB just won these chips. Maybe he's thinking about making a move on him. Oh, he is reaching for chips. Wow, he's going to. Code four bet to seventy one million, about seventy thousand dollars, on an A six bluff. Please. Quickly wins the pot. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Aaron, explain mm -hmm. to him what "leave me alone" means in Chinese. Who mm -hmm. Leave me alone. I mean, okay. Huh? How do you say "leave me alone" in Chinese? Who Let me Let me Wrong one. Jing Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rob, where'd you go? <laughs> He's having a carton of cigarettes right now. <laughs> I mean, it did. He has been so brutal and relentless. Whooping the hell out of me all week. I'm down over a million US, and he's just right there in my ear. Just, hey, Robert, where'd you have that hand? You had two kings? No, you didn't really pull two kings. He just reloaded five, five million. Yeah. That's why I told you, I said, we have to maintain five million, I thought. So king, king, seven, two spades. Aaron Shunu Zhang checks his trip kings. Baldwin is the preflop raiser. And he does fire out a bet. Hoping that no one has a piece. Mr. Wu is going to make the call her pocket fours. Let's get him. 
So Shunu Zhang here of King Ten Trip Kings. He needs to decide if he should raise to try to protect himself from some flush draws. Or just call. He does just call. Turn card is the queen. Two flush draws. And now he's going to start betting out, it looks like. No, he's going to check. Change his mind. Baldwin sees two calls. Yes. So he's going to give up. And Mr. Wu's going to bet at it. Turning his fours into a bluff. So Shunu Zhang here knows he beats flush draws, like two spades, two diamonds. He has done very well in games I'm involved in. He's definitely going to make the call here. Yeah, no, you're right. It is. He's a very, very good sport. He's a lot of fun, actually. So the spades get there. Not the card Zhang was looking for. He's just going to kind of block bet a bit. Mm. He's going to take that pot over 100k in the middle. Paul, <laughs> 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 oh, you still alive? <laughs> Very good again. Robo <laughs> win all the money. What are you? Robo shot. <laughs> you had queens, queen queen that hand? Right? Two queens that hand? Uh, queens, yes. Uh, huh? uh, because uh, after we both call flop, it's hard for you to bet without an overpair. Uh, you, you must have an overpair. Uh, we both had sets crazy. How many chips you That have? sucks for you, man. I was like, wow, there is a poker guy. Just no diamond on the turn, and I'm going all in. You're missing the fun. I was very happy, actually, that he didn't have three tens. TRB is talking about the previous hand where he won the biggest pot so far of this cash game. By the way, after I was talking shit, if he hit the deuce on the river, it would have been the yeah. most perfect TV ever. <laughs> you just call? <laughs> <laughs> JRB was down the most in the first episode, but it's now up. So does this a limp pot? Believe it or not, I was worried about the deuce. Such a big pot. You know, six million, six million. Bobby five. Baldwin taking a stab here. Mr. Wu's gonna call with his inside straight draw. Turn card's a six. Wow, that pot Bobby Baldwin uh, doesn't have anything. It's like eight hundred thousand US. So he's going to check. Mr. Wu is yeah. going to bet. Wow. Takes down his pot with one of the worst hands. What did you call me on the flop with? That you could hit runner, runner 10. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to take it away from you, and then, and then I made trips. <laughs> it's not so good. <laughs> 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 you need two feet to back up. <laughs> <laughs> to a post? No, 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 you're all right. You get free hands. The fish games, we get free hands. Free hands for the fish. <laughs> you can duck the blind all you want, Tom, as long as you don't quit. Sam <laughs> 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 uh. By the way, in all the years we, we, oh we did the game at so Aria. So one, one time... We, one time, one day, Rob, it was New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. and we were playing, Tom was in the game at Aria, and uh, Bob Wright <laughs> was up huge, and he, he was quitting early, he was gonna <laughs> oh leave. God, yeah. And then Bobby and Tom said, Bob, don't go. We're gonna we're gonna pay your blinds if you stay. <laughs> play, play another order. Yeah, you know here, Bob. Here, here. And they post Bob the cannot resist a good deal like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom put in his big blind, yeah. and the flop comes ace ace five. 
full of balls. And naturally, Bob has, has pocket fives. <laughs> and Tom has ace fives. Oh, and, and oh Tom, my God, you should have seen oh the, the fury. Course, Tom always sat with a stack to cover the whole table. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You couldn't make it up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a <Love> story. <laughs> I didn't even remember it that well. <laughs> I didn't remember it that he used to like me, and then he always seemed rough with me. And I never remembered why until they told me the story. The flop came ace, ace, five. Was it the flop? Fives. Yeah, yeah. It was I was the flop? The flop. <laughs> ace, ace, five. And Bob had pocket fives, <laughs> saying there is a poker card. Yes, <laughs> Tom had ace fives. He got racked. He, he got racked to me. Actually, Bob shows <laughs> over fives full first, and of course I knew Tom had like the three aces with the eight kicker was drawn dead almost. <laughs> I just want you to picture Bob with the racks in his hand. Racking his chips, and guys, come on, another orbit, Bob. Here, we're gonna pay your blind. <laughs> just like Robles said, Bob's never turned down a good deal. Two hundred dollars in equity? How can we leave that on the table? <laughs> I don't care how sleepy you are. Bob would do that as well. <laughs> oh my goodness! You can't make this up. Man. Stop That's steaming. Awesome. That was New Year's Eve. Tell him to stop steaming. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if he stops steaming. I don't know how to say steaming. But he's winning. So I don't think he's seen. That's Go one ahead, of the craziest things I've ever witnessed at the poker table. I don't even remember it that well. <laughs> you and Bobby. I remember that, yeah. But see, I thought, I remember that, I remember we paid his blinds and I remembered he got stacked. But I actually, I didn't remember it was me. No, it was someone you. Else stacked it was you. Because I know it wasn't me and there were only three of us. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a three bet pot as they reminisce on that hand. <laughs> Mr. Wu is a three better. JRB is going to bet. It's open and straight drawn 10 of spades. Mr. Wu calls with the best hand and the queen of spades. River card is the queen. So Mr. Wu makes top two pair. JRB actually has the straight. He's going to go for a lot of value. It's an overbet. 120 million. It's about 100,000 USD. Can Mr. Wu get away from this hand? 1.2 million, I think. Hong Kong. So like uh, 150 US. 150,000. Uh, 120 million won. If you want to go that style. Man, if I ever got a hold of that kind of money. <laughs> well, the Korean won, though. It's not, you know. Is it called a uh, one? I think so, 120 million won. Yeah. Didn't say on that. Yeah, KLW, you're right. Can Mr. Wu lay down this hand? He just improved. Taking a look at what's in the pot. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> <in the house. laughs> You gotta come clean if you go out there. <laughs> Trying to think of what hands he beats, mainly an ace of spade kind of bluff would make a lot of sense, or a 6-7 type hand. Mr. Wu asking, JRB's got 8-9, that would be a full house. Lays it down correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Good fault. You go to TV? Ah, yeah. You need to urge it. Call it. Right. Papa! Good fault. <laughs> yes. Right? Please don't run Mr. Wu down. <laughs> you put a massive river bet in. You put a massive river bet in because you're greedy, because you think you're cool. Don't rub him down as well. Rob's got a point. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just a massive point. river bet. You're going to lose your seat next year. <laughs> he, he, said, he said he said if I bet a little smaller, he would have gone over the top with a big bluff. You, you put the big bet into <laughs> millions well, for said. every big Korean bluff work too, by the way. Korean Wong you could. I had a straight. Six. Four. 
you guess Andrew has an ace. Mr. Suit Corey an ace. Poker. Suit today ace or pair. Andrew's range here. <clears throat> Mr. Well, Wu's range. What's going on now? Mr. Wu. Okay. This is a qualifier okay. here. Oh, the second tilt. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wu. Let's get him, Rob. I can't get him. Mr. Wu, don't tilt. Right. Don't tilt. He's queen. Calm queen. down. Okay. <laughs> no, no tilt. No tilt. Mr. Wu. No tilt. Don't okay. listen. Don't listen to this guy. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Next time we play a game, I want you guys to all refer to me as Mr. Balan. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Wu, Mr. Balan. Equal. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay Don't okay. hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna get your wish, but only if you're losing. Because then they're all going to be like, Mr. Oh, Balan, yes, how was that hit? VIP, VIP. <laughs> so I can see some good needles starting with Mr. Balan. So, <laughs> so happy and smiling. You know? Actually, he can take right. a punch. Yeah, yeah. I've taken a lot of them. How do you know that, Bobby? Have you, you, have you ever given him or two? God damn, man. You know, I heard a, I heard a story <sighs> of... Uh, <laughs> you guys getting all in with kings and aces? Paul, you guys not true story. You saw my Paul, you're out? Paul, are you out? Oh, okay. Win the tournament, Paul. Second place. Why are you always second place? <laughs> Paul, why do you always get second place? Second place is the first loser. <laughs> Number one loser. Second place. I won two tournaments before. Paul, I always remember you second, second place. Field of eight. By the way, he's World Series champion. In 1622. I think that was not too long ago. So as these guys are chatting, Romain is actually going to squeeze him ace five offsuit. Tomorrow, one million or one point five. Gets a lot of playable hands to fold so far. One point five is pretty expensive. Yeah, one is fine. Because people can get in for a few bullets. So. Yeah, and he's going to take this pot down for another squeeze. <laughs> show one, show all. <laughs> oh, you're going to be a big star down there. Stop paying attention. Duan's going to open up six four clubs under the gun. Looks like Rob Young has actually topped off probably another 500 million, about 450k. Mr. Wu said the game too small, he wants some straddle on. Mr. Wu? I mean, your, uh, your boss. Yeah, he, I don't think he, he, he said that. Okay. I don't know. Aaron, when are you coming uh, to the US? Uh, same time. June. In the May, in the beginning of June? Yes. I come to collect uh, my losing. When you're in Las Vegas, game every day. <laughs> we play every day. I dropped too much money last two years in mixed game. Don't worry, if your priority is moving very high. <laughs> you can live in my house. Yes, yeah, I'll take my chance. You can have the master bedroom. OK, free room this year. <laughs> These are nice chips and they're slippery, right? I like them. Yeah, they're great. They're like baccarat yeah, chips, like but like in between regular chips and baccarat yeah, chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half size bigger. I'll give you some for Christmas. I'm going to give you all this stuff about new babies. Lucy's got all the the pipe only don't buy a thing because you've got everything for me. <laughs> yeah, Plenty of customers, Tom. Customers is always mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. No, no, no until they're not. So Duan has the best hand if it's over pair. No one has a piece as long as he fires out, but. Aaron Shunu Zhang is going to bet out just Queen 10 high, trying to represent these little cards from the big blind.
best one is the preflop raiser. He's going to raise it. He knows that Shunu Zhang would take stabs here. Well, Tom, that's one in a row. He's going to shift that one. You lead with nothing? That's a fish move. Yeah, that's what's actually Aaron, doing. Aaron, you can't do that kind of shit in this game. Because Tom will raise it every time. Not because he has a hand, but he's so aggravated that you're leading into it. It's embarrassing for him. Right, Tom? Okay. Move I don't know, in the short deck time. I've learned when they just lead into you, you can't always go for it. Nice hand, Aaron. So Rome is going to open up 10-8 suited to hijack. Aaron Shunu Zane is going to call. As if he knew. Got two king jacks. Happens once a year, Bobby. Happens once a year. I get depressed for a whole week when I have it still. So Romay does make the best hand with middle pair. Does he want a continuation bet? He is going to start with check. He's going to get Shunu Zang to consider betting here. I like that. He is going to bet. That's a big bet. It's a pot size bet. Only joking. Can he no, get no. Romay to we'll fold middle pair? What do these little letters mean? What yeah. is that? K R W. <laughs> Doesn't work. Turn card is to seven. So Zhang is going to check it. Turn card is to eight. So trip eights, Romay. Oh, that's up here. <laughs> gonna go for some value. Trying to get hero called by an ace, trying to represent a flush draw. Mr. Wu, you're so big a boss. You have many assistants. <laughs> English only. How do you say personal assistant in Chinese? Chu Shou. Chu Shou. I like your style, I actually do. Yeah. I'm looking good. I've been, I've, I've been sick. I've, I've been sick all week, haven't I? I've been sick. You were sick when you got there. I saw you. Totally. I'm still not good. Either. No, you're good. You good? Yeah, after my hand, I mean, you might I'm feel a little bit ill. You know, I'm a, someone's having a personal conversation. Why do you feel the need to get involved? Right no, he's an eavesdropper of all times. Right he used what? to work for the CIA. He's an eavesdropper. Yeah. He so. notices that. Well, you he can't hear if you're talking to him, but if you're talking to anybody else, he's. <laughs> In the future, we'll ask you. It's more we'll, interesting we'll, when I get involved. In the future, we'll re request your input, okay? So we got Mr. Wu open up King 4 suited. Two calls so far. Mr. Wu, you're not messing about tonight. He's got the worst hand, he's gonna bet out and takes this one down. Mr. Wu, another pot for him. Let's go. He shows it. Good for game. The backdoor flush draw. Where are we now? Yeah. Where's Phil Ivy this trip? Tom, where's Phil at? I don't know, not here, I don't think. Oh. I haven't seen him. He was here, I imagine we'd have seen him. Have you been here? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen Phil in a while. I have no idea where he's at. <laughs> <clears throat> so 
but Mr. Wu is going to limp underground ace for offsuit. Call? Yeah, just call. Cool. You just call here? Cool. <laughs> Friendly game. We need a more players input. That's a triple gapper, like a 4 8. <laughs> I know, it's I played those suited, hands before. A suited triple galper. No, or it's a, a triple galper. Single galper. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. is gonna punish all these limps. Wait, Makes it about 19,000. Should get everyone to fold. We don't know Zang's hand. Actually, no, Zang's gonna call. Wow, we limp re raises. See, so all the call and re-raises in the hijack. We don't know his cold cards, but this should work. I was waiting for Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. You ruined your action. Yeah. He was gonna call you, and then he said that, and it clicked yeah, you. I was like, yeah, I, that's it very was like, good plan. I respect it's, it's, that. Very logical. That is excuse. <laughs> very logical. Look, now we get more footage. That makes sense. The great episode. You had a funny hand. <laughs> I remember, it. for me, the, when I think of squeezers, the guy that sticks out the most in my mind is John Jawanda. I felt like in tournaments, he was just always squeezing in the right spot. Yeah, he is <clears throat> excellent. But every time I looked him up, he had it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. John Jawanda, super good. John Jawanda could be everyone besides Sherman. <laughs> oh, he lost the chairman. <laughs> chairman, it doesn't really work oh, okay. to squeeze chairman. <laughs> 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 it's an expensive proposition to be able to be everyone besides the chairman. Yeah. Cool. I didn't know he lost the chairman. That's cool. I guess I have heard of mode of that show. Wow, so into this small pot and Bobby Baldwin is raising a pocket deuces on his very dry board. Just doesn't think anyone has a piece. That's good. You retired him from the big cash games. Oh, he did? Wow. He still was a little bit suspicious, but his hand is pretty weak. So he's going to lay it down while Baldwin picks it up. Pocket deuces. Some power poker there. In this very small pot. Rob, you got a little quiet. You know, you're so happy when you picked me off in that big block. Uh, something <laughs> happened. Lucky he didn't have anything that hand. He met Mr. Balan. I'm good. Just relaxing. You enjoying yourself, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm you like this better than the office? Um. His office is Starbucks. I probably prefer to play to play poker. Like a, a bit more relaxed. But so relaxing. You want to know what tilts Rob? Because here in Korea, they won't let him use his to-go <laughs> Starbucks cup and sit inside the Starbucks. If you get a to-go cup, you have to leave. No, it's so Starbucks. strange. You can't. You, you got to use an indoor mug. I was mug. sitting there drinking my coffee in my yeah, to-go cup, and they came over with a mug. And they were like, no, no, no. And then they took my my cup and they're not very nice the about it either, threw it away. No. <laughs> very aggressive. Very aggressive about it. It's yeah. like they think it ruins the ambience of the restaurant to have. No, it's, con it's conservation. It's Korean law. No paper cups unless you are actually taking them outside. Oh, well then, it, but it's not conserving anything when they just take your cup and throw it away. I didn't make the law. Yeah. I mean, that's just the law. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's even worse, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. And they're aggressive about it as well. Yeah. Like, they, took, they took mine off me, like my drink off yeah. me. Mine too. I did. What's up, Richard? Cool. So action is on Tom Duan. Going to bet here of top pair. We were only, only eight-handed, but VIP seat. 
<laughs> we make it tin handed, Richard, for you. <laughs> JRB does get That's there if it's King Queen. So they have a piece of tin the one's gonna keep on value betting against a hand like King Jack, King Ten. Ricard is the Jack, pretty scary card for both players. Duan probably doesn't think he's got the best hand, but he does chop with some hands like Ace Seven, Ace Eight, Ace Nine. He's going to check. <laughs> JRB on an upswing in this game. <laughs> Richard, you're not still in, are you? You still in also? Hi. Uh. Hi, you're right. Okay. <laughs> good, good. He's the boss, right? <laughs> <laughs> Need lava? He's the boss. Huh? Uh, we're thinking. He's the boss. Bobby. Good to see you. Huh? Bake it. Um. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Mr. Lee, right? Or no? Yeah, he's boss here. Yes. Uh, Tom did open up this pot, and Lang Yu here is going to call from the small blind. Rome is going to call from the big blind. We don't see whole cards yet. Do you want to stay in South Beach or you want to stay at the Aqualina? Flop is ace, eight, four. Tom Dwan flops top and bottom pair. Lang Yu's got pocket tens, one over card. I haven't either, either but. <laughs> so Duan is going to bet 10 million. It's about 10,000. Gets a quick call from Lang Yu. Turn card is the three. So it's rainbow, no flush draws. Duan probably puts his opponent on an ace usually. Betting 26,000. Lang Yu. He knows that Tom Duan likes to bluff. So, against some opponents, this might be an easy fold, but against Tom Duan, you know he's always up to no good, so this might be a hand worthy of a call for Lang Yu. Trying to decide what kind of hands Tom Duan could have. 5-6, five, 5-7, six, five, seven, six, seven, most likely candidates. So he does make the call here, drawing very slimly. 82,000 in the middle. River card's a 6, a very safe card for Tom Duan. Really only loses to Ace-6, Ace-8 usually. Duan, when he sees his opponent check call to flop and check call to turn, definitely puts him on an ace, usually. So he might size up a bit trying to get hero called. <clears throat> so Tom Duan is going to overbet, or just about pot size bet actually. 90 million. Lang Yu in a tough spot here. I think against most opponents he would quickly fold this for three barrels, but against Tom Duan you just never know. <coughs> Especially for a big pot size bet, it looks like he's either got a really big hand like two pair plus or nothing. Probably doesn't expect Tom Duan to bet a hand like Ace Jack this way. Because of the big bets, quite polarizing. I mean, for Lang Yu to call to flop and turn, he definitely thinks that Tom Duan is bluffing, so it's not out of the question for him to make a call here. 
I think he does make the call here. And Tom's going to get paid off huge. A quarter <laughs> million. Pot for Tom Dwan. It's a big win. Lang Yu is going to lose that pot. Put him on the bluff. Unfortunately, his read was wrong in this situation. Tom Dwan wins about 125,000. So he's back in the green, up 44 million. Oh my baby. My baby Bobby Baldwin's up very little. It's about 12,000 USD. There's JRB. He is up 150,000 USD. He was that down 200,000 USD earlier. I know that there's deuces because he had a set of deuces. Until he won that big set over set hand against Rob Young. Oh, deal everybody in, including him, okay? All seats. Okay, good. Shu Nu Zhang going to open up 10 8 suited. Duanzen is going to 3 bet. 9 8 of clubs, the worst. 8. Shinu Zeng is going to call here. Tom Duan's hand is disguised because it is a 3 bet pot. Expected to 3 bet big cards. Queen, Queen, 4. No one hits. Does Duan want to make a bet here? Can easily get 10 8 to fold. Does bet and take it down. Tom. On the upswing. Who is the opposite of most people? Most people play tight, yeah. no cameras, loose cameras. Who we'll play Zang. loose, no cameras? Here's cameras. Aaron Zhang. So <laughs> <tight. laughs> yeah. He's up a little bit. I really like I like him. He's a lot of fun. He's a character. <coughs> yeah, he is sure. a very sure. nice guy. It makes poker fun. Romay is going to open up 9 6 of diamonds on the dealer button. Robo's going to 3 bet a 4 3 offsuit. 30k. Such a garbage hand. Aaron Zhang here in the big blind of King Queen. He's going to lay down the best hand. And Rome of 9 6 of diamonds. Thank you. Luke, I need a round cube. He gets punished from Robo. So Robo's going to win that hand. One. This is the last hand of this episode. This has been the Triton Super High Roller Series cash game. Stay tuned for the next one. See you guys soon.